In Revelation chapter 11, John is given a measuring rod. And it's an interesting scenario. God tells him to, to measure his house and his faithful followers. Also, John tells us about these two witnesses that appear in Jerusalem. And they're told to prophesy for 1,260 days. And they begin to prophesy about the Lord and to reach out to people for salvation. And something terrible happens. They're, they're slaughtered and they're, they're killed and they're left in the streets of Jerusalem. And the people in Jerusalem, those of Israel, begin to fall into even greater decadence, greater sin. It's like a giant party erupts. And in the midst of it, all this craziness is going on. God resurrects the two witnesses and they ascend into heaven. And the people who are watching are just shocked. They're, they're overwhelmed by it. And a giant earthquake occurs. All this is happening in, in chapter 11. And a tenth of the people are killed. And the rest repent. And then, well, let me share this verse with you. Then the temple of God was opened in heaven. It's like they, they're beginning to, to see that, that God is about to return. He's about to respond and it says it's opened and the ark of his covenant was seen in the temple a, a sign of his presence a sign of his faithfulness like it was in the times of israel and there was lightnings noises thunderings and earthquakes and great hail as as this chapter comes to an end god raises his witnesses there's judgment there's there's repentance there's great revival in israel and god reveals that he is about to rule and reign by opening the heavens, revealing his temple, and showing the Ark of the Covenant that he is the mighty one, that he is the present one, that he is the faithful one. Read chapter 11, amazing things going on in the book of Revelation.